Mattsmats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you want 10% off the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, enter in the code Yu-Gi-Jesus on Metamats.com and you get 10% off your order. Likewise, you can enter in that same code Yu-Gi-Jesus on LDBDuel.com and get $5 off the best deck boxes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. My very biased opinion. I I mean, look, I'm just, 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 just look at this. I mean, come on. With that out of the way, let's open up some mail. So this is from Michael Hutchings. I've actually already opened this before, and I messed up, and I accidentally deleted the uh, face cam footage. So what I'm going to be doing is showing the footage from this camera that's still on my computer, where I signed all of the cards, including something I've shown in a video before. I signed Mystic Minds that were also signed by the great Jeff himself, the Mystic Mind player, the Exodia Master. I think we should just call it the Forbidden One, Exodia the Forbidden One. He's just, he's just Jeff the Forbidden One now, right? I mean, something like that. We made memes about that when uh, when that happened what was that YCS uh Indie or something? Yeah, that was that was really really cool. But yeah, I wanted to re-record this part and show um, what I've already recorded on this camera because I deleted the footage on this camera on accident and uh, yeah, this this one still had it. But I wanted to uh, share this because uh, Michael um, said that he watched my videos um, all the time while he's in uh, in boot camp and uh, that actually just it touched me like and not in like the weird you know <laughs> it's terrible joke sorry <laughs> but, uh, no it made me feel good that he. Uh, um, you know, wherever he's at, wherever he's based at, he's watching my videos and stuff and still uh, keeping Yu-Gi-Oh! alive in, uh, in boot camp. And uh, I was talking about that, you know, if I wouldn't have deleted, you know, the face cam on accident. Um, I talked about that in the video. It's really cool that um, I'm sure he's introducing um, um, all kinds of people to Yu-Gi-Oh! and keeping, keeping the vibe alive. Wherever they're hunkered down at, I know uh, military stuff's not fun. They make you run a lot <laughs> everything else. Yeah, you couldn't, yeah, you couldn't pay me to... Run, not, 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 not even get a haircut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've never liked uh, shaving your haircuts. That's something I decided actually in high school. In high school, um, they, actually, that's where the nickname Jesus came from was when I was in high school. People called me Metal Jesus and Fat Jesus and I don't know, just, just all kinds of stuff. Just Jesus for short. Um, and yeah, that, that started when I was in high school. And um, it's because I just I didn't like shaving or haircuts. And then when I, you know, started Yu Gi Oh!, people just. I don't know, they started calling me Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, and, um, I obviously, uh, w went with the joke, and I'm still going with the joke <laughs> all these years later. Uh, but anyways, man, Michael, um, thank you so much for sending me these again. He also sent me, like, Ghost Honor Arc and, and all kinds of other really cool cards to sign, you know, and, and Blue Eyes and, you know, the, all the classics and, and just everything else. So I'm going to have, have it be shown, you know, right now. I just wanted to uh, re-record this part because, once again, that was a complete accident. I, I ended up needing to make space on this camera um, to record some other stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just accidentally deleted that clip. So, uh, yeah, man, once again, uh, thanks again. And uh, I, I love it when you guys mail me uh, from wherever you are. I've, I've actually had um, several people, at least at least two people now, two or three, at least three, I would say, um, mail me um, or message me and, and tell me that, you know, while they're in boot camp, they watch Yu-Gi-Oh videos and, uh, I don't know, I guess that's what they do for comfort and stuff. And then I totally get it. I mean, I, I, I don't still play Yu-Gi-Oh for comfort. No, no. No, I, no, I, I, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't do this for, for comfort, you know, and for, and for the, for the joy of it. No, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. No, absolutely, absolutely not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but all jokes aside, once again, I know, I know I've thanked him several times, but thank you again, Michael. I think it's so cool that you and other people, um, uh, you know, even though you're in the forces and stuff, uh, keep the vibe alive. That's that's awesome. Yeah, and I got um, a couple other things to open. Let's get to it. This one's from TPS Platinum, all the way from Gallatin, Tennessee. Let's see what he sent me. Or I can see the light through it, so I know I can just tear. Oh, that's so sweet. I don't need scissors. Awesome, sweet. Is this a, what? What is this? So is, hopefully this is a letter. Let's see what we got here. Some cards. The cards are taped to the letter. Here, let's try to pull that off without tearing up the letter. I do keep all of y'all's letters in a box I have in my closet with all my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, all my cards and everything. I have like a, a tub with everybody's letters, everything from written on freaking burger wrappers. <laughs> I don't know, and all kinds of other stuff. Fan cards, uh, yeah, all that stuff I've, I've definitely kept over the years, and I've, and I've shown that on camera before. But let's read this. 
Hello, Mr. No, no, yes, yes, maybe, maybe, sometimes, sometimes, on occasion, on occasion. Yes, yes, nay, nay, yay, yay, yeah, ev everything else. The kids call me Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus, right? <laughs> Long time watcher, first time mail sender, awesome. I've been watching since I believe 2015. Wow, that's a long time. That was before I like left for a while too, dude. You you are dedicated. Thank you so much. I do have a question. Since Galactic God oh, is your father, yes, and the mother of the Egyptian gods is also your mother, is and Eugene is Obelisk's son. Yeah, that 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 is the lore. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I, I don't know how many people keep it, but you, yeah, it's, it's complicated. <laughs> Would that make you Eugene's uncle? Just food for thought. I do have two fathers. My spiritual father is Obelisk. And my mortal father is Galactic God. That is the lore and canon. I am Eugene's uncle. He's my twin brother and my nephew? I'm gonna have to unpack that in another episode. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, you've been paying attention since 2015. You're the fucking man. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, no, has anybody pointed that out in the comments? I can't even remember. That video was so long ago. Dang. Dang! Anyways, I have sent you and Eugene each a gift. I hope they'll be appreciated. They most certainly will be. With that, I have three things to say. Bird up, bad bird bitches, and bird best death. <laughs> Take it easy, Platinum. P.S. Still waiting on that duel. Well, well hit me up on uh, on uh, Discord, Facebook, Twitter, um, all that stuff. People um, have it, don't message me on Facebook as much as they used to. I think they just think it's just a meme page, and it is, it is just a meme page. Same thing on my Twitter, really. I don't know what else to post, so I just post memes because, I mean, what am I gonna do? Just like repost new product or shill for new product or something? Like, what what what, what do people even post on Twitter? You know what I'm saying? I just I just post memes. And I have a, a guy who helps, and you know, me and Till and the rest of us make memes and he posts them and. I don't know, we just do our best to, I don't know, make people smile with uh, the extra, you know, social media content um, outside of YouTube. That's just, that's just what we do. There's a, there's a team of us. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, there's actually a picture on the, um, we, we need to put Nathan in now, <laughs> but there's a, the, the header banner on the Facebook page is like crudely photoshopped, you know, pictures of all of us, you know, the four horsemen of Yugi Nono -No is what, it's, <laughs> what it says, but, uh, yeah, we, we make memes for people in our spare time and, uh, I don't know, contribute Yu-Gi-Oh content, uh, to the internet to make people smile. That's, that's what we do. Yeah. But yeah, hit me, hit me up on uh, yeah any platform. You know, all my links are down in the description of every single one of my videos, including this one. PSS, send all the lightning you want. I'm not scared. Oh boy, you will be. You will be. <laughs> Freaking quoting Yoda over here. Empire Strikes Back, dude. That is so cool. What do we? I mean, you just sent me these. Like, you, you're not. Make, uh, Thank you. Um, yeah, as you guys know, uh, usually I get um, a lot of mail to, you know, a lot of cards to sign and send back, but I also have fans that just want to send me cool stuff. And it's, that, that's awesome. And that's everything from like fan made stuff. Um, uh, I, you know, I've, I've had all kinds of cool tokens and proxies and field centers and um, all kinds of stuff. I have a knitted Cyber Dragon field center. Yeah, actually, uh, hold on. It's right over here. Yeah, I even have a knitted. Cyber Dragon Field Center. <laughs> it's, it's very impressive. You could tell that that's, that's Cyber Dragon, you know? I mean, it, in, including the box I keep it in was fan-made. Um, this guy, a long time ago, sent me this sweet Relinquished Deck box, because at that time, and it still is one of my favorite cards ever, because Pegasus played it, and I love tunes and everything else. You know, that's those are like the most nostalgic cards for me, are tunes. I mean, I guess I can like, pop this open and show you. Like, fans have sent me, like, just all kinds of stuff. Bandai cards, a raw. I mean, just... Just all kinds of stuff I, I keep in here, like cool, like, you know, uh, misprint cards, um, lanyards. I mean, just basically this is the box I keep like all kinds of little fan knickknacks and stuff in. I mean, pins, uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Maybe one of these days I'll do like a whole uh, fan mail video, maybe like a recap and just show everything, like all the cool things. Oh, it was, oh look, 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 look. Last name looks like Cassidy. Cass, yeah, Cassidy, I think. Dennis, Dennis Cassidy, it looks like. It looks like Dennis. Yeah, dude, that guy. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very bad with names, so you guys know that. I'm like terrible, terrible with names. I'm terrible with card names, too. 
<laughs> except for the old ones. Um, but be, card names are actually really hard these days if you think about it. Like, try to pronounce any of the new Horus cards, for example. I made a, a whole skit out of, like, how hard those are to pronounce. So, yeah, and I still can't say them. I just, I just call them, like, Horus, that guy, and Horus... The, the other guy, he does that and he, yeah, I know him by the pictures. But yeah, let's put that, yeah, let's put that back in there. And it even locks, it has a handle and everything. And they like burn that in, so cool. Yeah, I definitely keep everything y'all send me, including these cards. All right. Oh, a, oh, is that the, whoa. That's the 25th rare Cyber Dragon. A fine addition to my collection. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I do not have one of these. This is actually now the first one of these I own, except for uh, I think Brian might have sent me some. We're going to open that next, spoiler alert. But um, yeah, these I haven't opened up any uh, 25th, uh, 25th rare, 25th anniversary boxes. I don't really buy or uh, open product anymore. So this is officially the first one I own. And it looks awesome. It looks, uh, I don't know, it looks like a mix between Hobby League cards and uh it looks like yeah, it looks like a mix between old hobby league the way it's like parallel like i don't know how to explain it um mixed with the old uh, parallel secret game boy rarity that's yeah that's that's pretty much how i'll describe this that's that's really cool dude it will make a fine addition to my collection as well as this 25th rare blackwing armor master eugene will love this thank you so much yeah, Eugene loves black wings. He loves his bird bitches, including, you know, harpies and, and everything else. Th these are really cool, dude. Thank you so much. I actually have a 10. I don't feel like getting up and getting it, but I have a, a 10. It's actually my old Dark Magician Girl 10, and it's got all my Cyber Dragon stuff in I don't know why I picked that 10 to keep all my Cyber Dragon stuff in, but um, yeah. Um, including, um, if people ask me to uh, sign and send them Cyber Dragons, um, I have that 10 filled with just Cyber Dragons, like just common ones and, and all kinds of crap, just extras, because I have like a billion Cyber Dragons, because people send me Cyber Dragon all the time, you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like I kind of collect them, and um, um, I don't know, the foils I keep, you know, the foil ones I keep, the, you know, like this, they're mine, but then uh, other cards, like just like common ones from Structured X or whatever, I have like a trillion of, um, I, I stash uh, to sign and send the people. Oh, man, TPS Platinum, thank you so much again, man. Yeah, hit me up for that duel sometime on Discord or, or wherever, and, uh, and I will respond to you. Speaking of Discord, this is actually from Ryan, my Discord server mod, who does a fantastic job, by the way. So this is like less fan mail, but more of like my my mail mail. <laughs> but um, yeah, speaking of Discord, let's open this for the final thing for today. And I'll show you guys what I got. Like, like I said a little bit ago, I don't really open product anymore. Um, but Ryan certainly does. I don't know how many cases of the, uh, the new stuff that he ordered, but um, he had so much spare, he was able to just spot me a bunch of freebies that I need. The 25th anniversary set was a fantastic set and I'm so glad that they finally came out with a really, really good reprint set. This is like the best reprint set since like, what was it called, like Dual Overload or, or whatever. Yeah, that, that was a really good set too. It's always, it's always great when they when they reprint stuff. Even sets like uh, Secret Forces that um, didn't have like a lot of the greatest reprints. It still reprinted um, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, good staples and stuff, you know, preparation of rights, all kinds of stuff. I know I'm re reaching back, but speaking of 2015, since uh, homeboy TPS has been watching since 2015. <laughs> but um, yeah, shout out to Ryan, dude. Ryan's the best. And he sent me talents I needed, droplets, prosperities, evenly matched, two Ice Dragon's Prison. I have one, so he completed my set. I did not have Baron de Fleur. You guys would be like, you don't have any of these cards? I've, I've had these guys. I, I know, dude. I just play Cyber Dragons and stuff, or I play retro formats. Um, yeah, I, I try not to spend money on this game. And that, that's probably going to make, you know, Konami hate this video. <laughs> but they, they hate me anyways. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, um, two Pot of Extravagance uh, to complete my set. I already have one. Um, uh, two more Ash to complete my set because I ended up getting rid of a lot of Ash and stuff. Too many, actually, on accident. And... Um, Shifter because I needed shifters. I don't know when I'm gonna play shifter in yet There's something anti-meta for sure and then two lightning storm because it's at two and not three. Oh Ryan's the best man. He, he, he freaking killed it. TPS is the best. Michael, you're the best 
Yeah, that's gonna be the fan mail video. Yeah, I will have to do, um, I don't know, some kind of big fan mail, you know, or Yu-Gi-Oh collection uh, video. Um, I've had people um, ask, um, um, I've had several people ask um, ask me to update my, my Yu-Gi-Oh collection because uh, years and years ago I did a video showing like my whole Yu-Gi-Oh collection and um, yeah, in, in a lot of ways my Yu-Gi-Oh collection is bigger than that video, but in other ways it's like smaller because a lot of like um, uh, high rarity cards and stuff I ended up selling. Um, but uh, in, other, in other ways um, the, my collection is, is bigger because I have a lot more, um, I don't know, a lot more commons, um, I like just have like I just have a I just have a lot of cards, dude. <laughs> like I have a whole closet full of cards over there. Um, but yeah, there's I mean uh, all, all the fan mail stuff I haven't gotten rid of. Um, I don't know a lot of staple cards I didn't get rid of. Um, all, like all my goat stuff I kept. You know, for example, my 2002 format stuff. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I still have, and I I did keep you know all my Edison stuff even before Edison was popular. Uh, you know, I I kept all that stuff from that era because I just love that era of Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, I just, I have like, in, in plus I've acquired, you know, more cards and keep acquiring cards, obviously. <laughs> so um, yeah, my collection is, is still very, very, very sizable, even though when I left for a couple years, I did sell um, a big chunk of it. But yeah, uh, I wish I wouldn't have sold anything. There's a lot of stuff I wish I wouldn't have sold, but um, that just happens with Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, you, you buy and sell all the time. It's, it just is what it is. You know, you can't, you can't keep everything. It's not practical. Um, I already have like a full closet full of stuff, so I, I don't need to, to keep, you know, acquiring more cards. Matter of fact, um, I'm going to be selling on eBay again soon because I just have too many damn cards, man. <laughs> I just have way too many cards. So yeah, I guess I will do a collection update um, and maybe combine that with the fan mail. Just show, like, yeah, I think it just all belongs in the same video. Just show, like, all my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff because, you know, once again, from this box over here, let me just move all this. Between, uh, you know, stuff like this and this box, I don't feel like getting all of it out, you know, for this video. Um, I'll just, I'll organize my stuff and once again do it for another video or something. But, like, I just, I don't know. I have so much cool random random stuff you know unopened obelisk from the movie uh yeah like like look at this pin this is like i don't know how old this is it's so cool it's got the old Yu-Gi-Oh logo on it i can say that much random karibo pin this lanyard is from world championship 2017 very very cool stuff I ended up using it as a prop, actually. That's why this is all tangled up. I ended up using this as a prop for a character. I ended up, that's right. I <laughs> made like a super lanyard out of all this stuff. Uh, Keychain ornaments. Uh, yeah, I, I love this mystical elf, uh, keychain ornament. And misprint cards. This is supposed to be Dig of Destiny, you can see. It's not Dig of Destiny. This is, yeah, these, these are always really cool to see. I, I don't even know how these happen, but these are awesome. I'm glad to have one of those, one of the uh, throwaway, you know, discard cards. And this is from LDB Duel, actually, um, to promote them again. They they include these cool inserts, and I, and I collect them. I collect, um, you know, stuff my friends do, like Metamats. Um, I collect his inserts as well. You know, just little knickknacks. I have koozies. <laughs> like, this is something my mom made, actually. And I, I mean, I just have all kinds of <laughs> like, cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Here's a Metamats, you know, pad. Yeah, I keep, I keep all this stuff because I really like what Dave does. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, man, I have a Larvae Mothfield Center 2 knitted. See, I forgot about that. That's what I get for not looking in here for a long time. Look at that. <laughs> like, yeah, I should do an update. I mean, just unopened cards, lost art cards, uh, Sphinx Talia. I mean, uh, Jim Mint 10 stuff. Um, unopened Sparkman. This is from LDB Duel again. This is a an old manga. You go GX manga. Very, very cool. Albaliska keychain ornaments. Joey Wheeler over here. Um, actually, this goes with my bootleg Dark Magician. Whoopsie. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I have I have these toys over here too. I just keep on the table for decoration, extra decoration for videos. But yeah, uh, fans have sent me have sent me these as well. Speaking of Joey Wheeler, <laughs> yeah, I have all these over here too. Um, I have this deck box that somebody gave me a long time ago. This is a Duelist League pin. Just look at that, man. They don't make that anymore. I know that's old. Duelist League hasn't been around for a long time. I actually have some Duelist League cards. Another Obelisk, the Tormentor. This one's Dog Tag. Speaking of uh, military stuff, Dog Tags. I don't know. I don't know where this die came from. I, I bet a fan sent it to me, though. It's probably why it's in here. A Metamats dice, because once again, I, I collect his stuff. I um, actually have another Metamats dice I use all the time over here. Yeah, I collect Metamat stuff because, you know, he's my friend and I yeah, collect his stuff. 
But yeah, man, uh, once again, I guess I'm gonna have to do an update because I have more stuff than I remember. <laughs> and I'll show all of this stuff off. Uh, can I fit it, in, fit it in the shot? I mean, not, not really, and I don't really wanna turn it around and stuff too much, but yeah, I have a whole tub full of y'all's mail and, and all kinds of stuff that I'll show off. Um, yeah, I'll make that video before too long. Keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank, thank you all so much for watching and sending mail. I love it when you guys send me mail. I love making these videos. I get to show off all this cool stuff. I get to have an excuse to be like, hey, here's all my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Let me brag about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, dick slap that like button and subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs>